Good morning, guys. Um, so, as today, and today is a Friday. So, yeah, just um, woke up, did my um, devotion, so I'm trying to get ready now. So, um, this is about past 11, and this is what a day in my life looks like when I'm not at work. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to take my bath now, I'll take a shower, um, and get something to eat, do a bit of laundry, read, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, what else? That's it, guys. Let's go. Comfort. Comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, In the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be laid up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places are plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. Um, so I mentioned that I was going to, what I had to do today was basically to um, Okay, when I go down now, put this in the laundry and the washing machine Serve myself something to eat Lay in the sofa, probably sleep a bit after eating Because like, my night was really like scattered, I don't know um, Doesn't happen all the time does it happen all the time? I mean, for the most part, maybe I have trouble falling asleep. And then if I do wake up in the midnight, yeah, trouble going back to sleep. But of course, my sleep hygiene is not exactly like the best because like I use my phone in bed um, and all that. And if I wake up to pee, like I, I do end up checking my phone maybe for time or if I have messages. So all that I know doesn't help. Like probably why, you know, I have trouble falling asleep, falling back asleep. But yeah. But last night was same, like I struggled a bit, probably didn't fall asleep until like 1 a.m. Woke up about 5 or past 5, didn't sleep until, didn't sleep back until like maybe, maybe past 7 or 8. Like past 7, then my sister woke me up at 9 again, so since then I've been pretty much awake. So I do feel like I'm going to take a nap after breakfast, then once that is done, I would, um, um, do a bit of reading, not a bit, try to catch up because I have like a lot to catch up on um, um, I don't know if I've said this, let me just do a quick update basically, life updates um, So, I'm, um, I got my license, good news, got my GMC license So, um, GMC certified here, we we'll just need to get a job now um, I'm not bothered to be very honest, I'm not bothered, I know it's going to happen it's gonna happen so i'm not bothered but um just you know throwing out my options um i'm preparing for the msre this um september even though there are like quite few um spots like even in my city <coughs> even in my city presently there is no spot um and um like south of this um what do they call it now south of this county I think there's just one maybe one spot i think if i'm not mistaken so like it's quite like <clears throat> um very dicey um but 
yeah it is what it is i i am writing the exam i'm not completely sure like even if i do get maybe if i get somewhere south like okay maybe but like i'm not completely sure at this time that i want to go like very far away but i'm just my options are out there but i'm also searching for like trust grade jobs and all that as well so if i do find that even though i i don't right now i don't just see the point because like for me if it's if it's about making the money fine yes you get trust grade job you're making doctor money but like um long term like if you're still going to end up going into one training or the other like if you can get into training straight away why not um so that's how i feel basically um, it's about getting used to the nhs system you get used to it it's not that deep by the time you spend two three months in, a, in your first post um, you get used to the system so um do i have anxiety about getting into the system i mean no anxiety just normal like human like um oh what's it going to be like oh presently i haven't practiced medicine in maybe like a year here because i moved here like last year left my job in Nigeria, so i haven't been practicing medicine for like clinical medicine for like a year plus so you get so it's like a bit of a gap and then not having to start afresh here in so yeah that's that shampoo it's just normal i know that within a few weeks few months i'll start to get the angle of it and feel more confident um so that's life Mm, what else did I want to update you guys on? Yeah, we're definitely in a new space. I'm sure like you guys can probably tell that looks different. Yeah, so we moved um to a different area. It's a new build area. It's calm, quiet. I'll probably take a walk later today. And my husband is working a long day today, so he won't be back till maybe past nine-ish. Um so yeah, I'll probably find something to cook later in the day as well so you have something to eat when you get back mm. and what else yeah that's basically it guys so let me not talk too much um let me sort this laundry and then go get something to eat just because he sees that there's still a bit of color to these ones he thinks they are not dead but i'm throwing it out now oh what's now when i'm done with it please let me not die let me not die not it's not that bad i just need to empty the dishwasher um put the dishes new um, get the dishes in the dishwasher then um, sweep this kitchen and mop it um but i'm hungry if i attempt to do anything else before eating maybe i'll faint so this is at 12 30 now so let me eat first so i'm just eating rice and beans we have that from yesterday. We have, uh, we have some of it left over from yesterday too. And I made like this fish sauce. Fish stew, fish sauce. Mm. And I'll pop that in the microwave. Beans is one of my favorite things in the world. And that is that I would eat beans and rice. Like when I cook. I cook rice and beans, like the beans like this has to be at least the same quantity as rice, if not more. So. Brunch is served. Let us go and eat. So let us eat. 
you guys watching love is blind the uk version the, the uk whatever i saw the four episodes day before yesterday um, so i like to watch something while i'm eating try not to watch any series um because i'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for Emily in, Emily in Paris. I think that's coming out um, this no next week. Um, apart from that, I'm trying not to start any series. So yeah, so that I don't get too like tied down. I mentioned that I'm preparing for exams. So, but that's the only one I know that okay, I'm going to watch. Obviously, apart from this Love Is Blind, the remaining episodes are coming out next week as well. Um, but for now, I'm just looking for if there's a movie I can just watch while I eat. I'm that person, or oh, I've become that person. I think I learned this thing from Faith. I think, I think so. That's my friend, Faith. Because I, I don't know when I became this person, but definitely sometimes when I sometime in uni, my one of my uni days. Is when I started becoming someone who has to watch something while I'm eating. Bro, I'm having a dick. But I just need to find something. Okay. Finally found the movie. Okay. It's Resort to okay. Love. No, it's the old something. movie, but yeah. I'm just like, no, sorry. let me just put something on. Um, yes. Yes. So yeah, this is it. Okay, we're done. I got it. I got it. Talk to you guys later. Guys, my head has been aching. I've been trying to sleep. Time is. Time is past five now. And I came downstairs about. Um, is it past 12? Yeah. Past 12. I ate, watched a movie. I think I showed you guys that. And since then, I've been trying to sleep. I did sleep a bit, like in or like phone calls came in, woke me up. Um, so I didn't really sleep much. So my head is still aching, but I think I just need to eat something now. Um, so I have a cross soup. I've been loving amala and okra soup of late, so I'll just make like a little bit of amala. And eat that with the okra soup and um what else yeah i'm doing the second batch of clothes now in the in the washing machine um i don't know if i have the strength to spread the first ones first i haven't spread them so spread the first ones first and then make my food eat and um still try to read because i haven't read anything yet guys um because i can hardly read when my head is aching like this um apart from that yeah you guys see my face i don't know if we have any other people in the same the same boat so it's um tinea vesicolor so for a while like i've been wondering like struggling with this at least um, i think i've mentioned in previous videos so it's been like two years on and off I think it's even better now like it even looks better now because like the last it's been this particular one has been on since like january so since like january like my skin has pretty much not been normal just seems like it's starting to get back to normal i don't even know so it's just discolored 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 all around yeah um so i've tried um ketoconazole cream because obviously it's like a fung fungal skin infection. I tried that for about six weeks. There was no difference. Um, usually I use Clotrim as well cream. Um, but I realized in the past, like I hadn't been consistent. So I'll use it like two weeks or three weeks and then stop. Once I try to notice, start to notice a difference. But this time around, I said I was going to use it like, okay, I'll go to oh, maybe six weeks or whatever even though i've interrupted it in between now 
um, I'm still using it and it should have it should be like four weeks now that I've been using it even though I stopped like almost a week in between um, so yeah if you guys deal with similar skin condition um, so I've heard that it's just that some of us retain too much moisture on our skin um, I don't know if like honestly I, I don't know I don't know so presently like i'm not doing any skincare for like the past maybe two or three months like three months even like i've not done any kind of skincare whatever i just wash my face with cerave let it air dry completely and then i put on the um clotrimazole cream um occasionally maybe if i find like my skin is just dry i might use like this i have this avino oil that i use as well for my body so sometimes i just put that on but like moisturizing moisturizers um serums all those things like i've stopped them for like almost three months now um i just want to have skin that will not trouble me like i don't know when all this started but like i said it was like two years ish ago before then like my skin was like one of the most unproblematic i don't have acne i don't have breakouts or anything like that so yeah but it is what it is um so after I do this for a while, if it doesn't get better, definitely I would consider my options are to consider sulfur, topical sulfur. Um, so I've read that that can help as well, or to try oral um, antifungal. So yeah, so those are my two options. I don't want to use anything oral for now, but sulfur are not exactly clear, like from the information I'm getting online. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's go. Let's spread the clothes first. And then we would um, make a mala. I've actually done stuff like before I turned on the camera. I think I cleaned. I've swept the kitchen. Cleaned the countertop a bit. Um, cleaned, the, um, cleaned the center table. So majorly needs the living room needs vacuuming. Um, the kitchen needs to be mopped, but I think I'm just going to put those ones off till tomorrow. Oh, so let's go. trauma when I was a child. My mom has asked me to make a my mom has asked me to make a mama before and like it was a disaster. So like I think I was making for the whole, whole house. Oh, what was I was like, maybe 15 or 16. It was a disaster so like I'm alive that not one of my things that I do. But I'm just craving it. And um, if it's just for me, just for me and my husband then that's fine. But if it involves more than two people Nope, it's not something I'll make an offer guests. Nope. So, yeah. Yeah, let's eat. I'll talk to you guys <sighs> much later. I think I'll just try to officially read once I'm done eating. And, um,. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that'll be all the chores I'll do for today. Later at night, turn on the dishwasher overnight, and yeah, the vacuuming will be tomorrow, and the mopping of the kitchen. Okay, I'll do that as well at night. But for now, that's all, guys. If you're wondering about my scarf, you guys, I can't find my satin cap since we moved. Like it got lost somewhere in transit. I can't find it. So I've ordered new ones, 
I have actually I have two, but one of them is actually like quite big and the band is very tight around the forehead. So I don't I don't use it. The one I use more often is the one I can't find. So that's why like I've been wearing scarves, scarves, scarves <laughs> instead. So let me eat guys. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Um, so I'm just having this. Let me show you guys. Snacking on some oranges. This is um about past nine now. No, is it? It's um eight forty two. So yeah, my husband's on his way back home. Missed him. Um the schedule is the same for tomorrow and the day after, so my day will probably be the same thing tomorrow and the day after. I'm um, just finishing up whatever cleaning um, I need to do around the house, vacuuming, um, cooking, eating, reading, chilling with a movie. Yeah, so my day will probably be almost the same as today. Um, I couldn't take a walk because like, I'm behind on the reading I need to do. Um, I'm on my own body anyway. Like, I haven't left the house in maybe two or three days. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog. Um, you probably see the clip of me welcoming my husband home. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. <music>